Hey YouTube, Blackwatch Jazz here, and today we're going to be reviewing the Transformers Kingdom Titan Class The Ark. So, for the figure itself, holy crap, this thing's really huge. It was barely able to fit in my review station, so I will be able to show the box off today. But, here it is, and it is amazing. So, yeah, this is really cool. So I'm going to go over... Uh, main gimmick it kind of has so flip it over to the back here so if you pull this up it kind of shoots this piece down where like when you saw in the show how around the end of siege where all the autobots were getting into the ark and all that so yeah another thing is these right here you get two blast effects they plug they can plug into here but not a good connection so and you only get two of them you don't get four even though there's four thrusters so yeah yeah another thing landing gears it's pretty cool that it's here flip these up and here he is without the landing gears and stuff so yeah so if you want to get mainframe out you're gonna want to like push down and pop these out slightly <laughs> same on the other side then just pull this up all right pull that back and there is mainframe and i have done my own work on him or not really on mainframe but on the little prime figure here uh yeah, just let me know how you guys like that. I, it wasn't really that easy since how small he is. He's smaller than the Studio Series uh, Brains and Wheelie. But since we're already here, I'm going to start on the transformation. It's quite simple compared to other Titans since I've, ha I've had a chance to handle Omega Supreme and Scorponok. But compared to them, this is quite simple. So, yeah. So, I'm going to do my best to get everything in frame. It's not going to be easy, though. I'm going to want to put that there. Flip around to the back. Pop that up. Take this. It goes in there. Alright. Pop these arms up. Take the legs. They just kind of ratchet down. Okay. This is not going to be easy, but take, you're going to want to ratchet the thigh like that, ratchet it down again. Same on the other side. Okay. I'm a, I guess I'll lay them down like that so I can get everything in frame. I'm going to have to go handheld with a few shots once I get this done. Then the arm goes up like that, clicks in. Now, on my copy, these are really tight, so I recommend, like, holding on the right he here. Of course, this only if your copy is, like, really tight, since I don't really like the way this plastic feels when you're, uh, when you're rotating it. So, so ratchet that forward. Oh, that's, those are some nasty ratchet joints. All right, take the arm, ratchet it down and out. Take the hand, it ratchets out, and off to the side. Same on the other side. This is not easy <laughs> since he can barely fit in frame and I want to make sure I'm getting everything in frame. So, same on the other side here. Okay. Then wrap the hand out again. Now, we're almost done here. Oh my god, it's kind of heavy. Rotate it at the waist. There. Now take basically the torso. Oh, come on. Okay, I can't really get that in frame that well. Uh, come on. Work with me here. Okay, there we go. Uh, 
we're going to take these, flip them out like that, and collapse, and it just kind of tabs in right there. Go to the feet, flip these, flip these pieces out, and we are done here. Oh no, oh no. Alright, I'll have to get to that in a second. Then, to transform mainframe, it's pretty simple. Take the arms, or like untab the arms, uh, take the legs, bend them down, rotate at the waist, take the arms here, take these panels, flip out the hands, and pop that out, fold out the head, and there, there we have, oh wait, nope, not yet rotate the feet so they're facing forward and there we go there is mainframe fully transformed and he looks all right now to the big event himself the arc man this guy is huge he I think he's like just slightly taller than Omega Supreme. I couldn't really show you guys on this review since this guy barely fits in my review station and I doubt Omega Supreme and the ARC would fit here. So yeah, I'm not going to go over articulation since it's going to be way too complicated since I'd have to hold my phone in one hand and have to articulate some points at the same time. So yeah, but I will get to mainframes transformation into Teletran 1. Okay. Pop these pieces out. Okay. Hinge all that down, flip down the head. Then it's there. Okay, now with these, there's these two little panels out here got the golden disc right here there's supposed to be two of them but one of them is on display on one of my shelves so right there and this there's this little t slot right there that this tab is supposed to go into like just like that and now same on the other side now rotate the waist, kind of bend the knees. On the inside, there's these two little panels here. And the knees kind of just tab in there. And there we go. Just like that. And there we, oh wait. What I like to do is like take the feet and just kind of flip them out to the side. Now there we have Teletran 1 in Teletran 1 mode. Uh, so that looks really nice. It looks really, really nice. You know, you got the arc right there and all the all these details, the continents of Earth. Set this off to the side. I'll go over details on the arc, sure. Uh, so on the head here, I feel like his eyes should have been blue. Kind of like the show, but I, either way, it looks all right. Uh, something I did is I rubbed off the battle damage with a 91% alcohol. Uh, or I mostly rubbed it off. It's not really easy to fully rub it off, I guess. We yeah, got these yellow. We got this nice metallic blue right there. I wish they could have used that for the eyes, but you know, it's whatever. We got the nice metallic blue on a few other spots here. We got those cannons that were on the ship mode pretty clearly. We got more metallic blue on the arms have got a little bit pretty nice silver right there and as we move down towards the legs or right here we got this really nice like faded blue in the thrusters that looks really nice so yeah 